Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Virgo this is Shah and this is your reading for the 14th to the 20th of September 2020 and I hope you're well. Um, I made a very short introduction, but just I don't know whether I've mentioned it, but there is a special offer on still on uh, till Sunday the 13th. Um, 30 minutes reading for 35 euros. So grab your chance if you want to buy a Christmas present for somebody else, a partner or a girlfriend or a boyfriend, then they can always. Uh, arrange a date to have it read next year perhaps your yearly reading in a half an hour but then it will go very quickly take the offer and make a, uh, and do the booking later let's get started I'm using the transparent tarot again Sagittarius and Aquarius uh, they liked it so much it went off the chart literally there was loads of likes thank you very much if you're a cross watcher and I hope you all will enjoy this uh, as much as last week but I'm doing it to spread differently as I'll be lab uh, layering it and you'll get a film you'll see a film the whole story right in front of you so let's get started with your reading you come in with the five of cups are you feeling out of sorts or are you feeling left out he's got two cups in front of him and two have fallen now where is the fifth cup these cards are new to me as well oh look I need a pair of new glasses you've got one two three cups and two that have fallen over you might feel out of sorts and you might feel depressed but it's no use crying over spilled milk you are not realizing that you still have the three cups behind you the past is the past my darling you can't change the past it's happened come out of your head step up dust yourself off take the three cups with you and make them into five and seven and ten of cups we all have our ups and downs in our life it could be in at work it could be generally or it could be in our relationship so take those three cups you can change the present and you can change the future and I tell you the future is going to change because you're going to receive news as you have the page of ones he is coming or she is coming towards you this could be a job offer that you've applied for to come in for an interview or that you have the job so the times will improve it's up to you to stand up and to take that offer you could also be meeting 
an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius if you're not hooked up and if you're moping about a lost love. What is also coming in is the King of Cups. The King of Cups, if you're a lady, you could be meeting a King of Cups. If you're a man, you could be meeting a King of Cups and he could be offering you something that you're passionate about. Friendship. It could be a good friend, new friend, because the, the uh, King of Cups is Cancer and don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces but they are very emotional intuitive people usually they can also they can also be highly sensitive they are people especially the king um, he's got his emotions under control so he will not let his heart rule his head or vice versa he will get the right balance that's why he's got the status of the king He's a good father, good provider, loving, gentle, nurturing, passionate, caring. He's also usually a very handsome man and a sexy man. Okay. And remember, they go with the flow. As they are water, they can go where no other one, no other can go. They can get even in between the rocks. Okay. So he will be a good man a Virgo if you are feeling down in the dumps if you are have a friend that's a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces go and speak to them or speak to your father or an other mature man a professional they will be able to offer you help okay now Leo had um, a, a sad depressing moment as well but everything comes goes up and comes down again we all have to learn from our mistakes or from our sad moments our losses so that we appreciate what we have so learn to appreciate what you have and not what you don't have that is your lesson as well it's all our lessons we have to realize what we have now look at this you've got the knight of swords coming in this could also be somebody with a tattoo as he's got a tattoo on his arm I've never seen that before but I've only recently got this deck so it could be also a, a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius that will be bringing you news or you could be meeting up so it's a water sign or the Cancer prominently don't exclude the others or it could be a any air sign it could also be a fire sign the page of uh, ones so you're getting in news fast and swift okay it could be about a work like I said but obviously it could also be about something that you're passionate so you're taking action well done Act upon this news, news very swiftly before it passes you by. Okay, now this news will bring clarity. If you are in a judicial situation, it will bring you also justice. As we have an other swords card. Now look at this. We've got the swords and it's overlapping. So this is part of your first uh, layer of the film okay somebody's coming in to help you most probably a gentle caring nursing a uh, nurturing man and who is strong and who believes in justice look at the sword pointing at him please help it could also be that somebody else um, you might have lost has left you something official so if you have a loss of uh, a loved one then there might be an inheritance because the sword stands for justice honesty clarity clarity honesty um, also officiality uh, municipalities or institutions so this could be a lawyer coming in to give you clarity and justice 
Okay, it could also be a notary public or a lawyer reading a will. There could be money on the way. Perhaps you've lost somebody and that's why you are upset. But you can't change it. They're in a better place. Take it from me. They're in a better place than what they were on earth as they might have been suffering and being ill and be painful. But the young and the old are coming together. This could also be sister and brother. So you might be taking care or have responsibility for young people, younger people. If you are a father, it could be yours. You might have got divorced or separated, but you are taking care. You are taking care of the little ones. This could be a teenager and this could be younger than a teenager. You are being the nurturing, caring father, getting justice and clarity. You, the Ace of Swords, means victory. So victory is yours. You have done the work, you've gone to, uh, although you're sad and upset and you might be crying about spilled milk uh, because you never thought you would separate, well, I tell you this much, nobody do, uh, thinks that they separate when they get married and on their wedding day. But things do happen for reasons. Now this is your last card and it's the overall energy which also will finalize the picture. Look at this, you've got the seven of pentacles. So you did sow the seeds and now you're receiving the news of the seeds. And I think for some of you it might be an inheritance coming in. Look, you are being cut free from heavy burdens. Okay, that is the news and that is what I believe. You're not being cut down, it's just the symbol of the money you're cutting off from um, uh, 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 a negative time. The truth is coming out, it's po pointing towards you because you've sown the seeds. So justice will be done, victory is yours. It's final now, okay? You are ready to harvest. And that is what you're going to do. Because the offers are all there. And there's caring people around you. So don't forget there's caring people around you. Don't feel hopeless or powerless. The justice will back you up the justice system. And always ask municipalities for help or institutions. Action. Ten action. Okay. That is from the Time to Shine deck. T time to enjoy some time out. Take a break. Rest and relax. Yes, without moping. Take the family on a holiday when this money comes in. So take time for rest. Make that unit strong again. You will be receiving most probably news about a job and you've planted the seeds. It's taken a few months or weeks before you knew that you had this job. You are getting the offer. Wow. Communicate clearly. There you go. You have communicated clearly because you've sold yourself like a typical Gemini. A Gemini that is an air sign, can sell, sell themselves like ice cubes to Eskimos or can sell ice cubes to Eskimos. So you have victory won by the sword, you've planted your seeds and are coming to harvest. You're getting the office. News, news, news. Perhaps you might have more choices than one. Awesome. So take action. Get clarity. Also, because you've got the Knight of Swords, communicate clearly, definitely. Also, because you have the Ace of Swords, as the Swords stand for communication, wisdom, and justice. Awesome. Victory is yours. Awesome. So go and take a rest now, after all that hard work. Ciao, ciao. Please like and share.